Last year, I reviewed 30 mascaras that I tried throughout the year. This year, I have 29. And so we're gonna get on that right now. I love to do the yearly roundup of mascara because aren't we all buying mascaras all the time? Oh my goodness, we buy them all the time. This is not all I have. I probably have 10 more down in here. We're gonna start with my least favorites, which were bombs. And then we're gonna go to the ones that were average. They're the, my medium likes that I can use up, but they're not my loves. And then we're gonna go to the very best of the best and we're gonna get through those. So let's get into it because it's gonna take a little while. All right, starting off with the bad. What did not work and why? Let's start off with one that I just tried recently. This is from Maybelline. This is the Colossal Curl Bounce Mascara. No, it's not. It doesn't curl and it doesn't bounce, which means I felt like it would keep my curl up. I felt like it would do better than it did. It did not. I didn't like the wand. I couldn't get anything to build off of it. It was just flaky. Didn't like it even one teeny tiny bit. By the way, before we go on any further, I realized that some of these are some that you guys are gonna absolutely love and they're gonna be your holy grails. Please let them still be your holy grails because this is just my opinion. My eyes are different than your eyes. My day is different than your day and what we need out of a mascara is gonna be different. It's the same way with all the makeup that I review. If, it is if it's your favorite, still let it be your favorite because you have the right to love what you love and I think that that is the whole name of the game with the hundreds of makeup items that we have. So please just take this with a grain of salt. This is what did not work for me for one reason or another. All right, the Bambi mascara, Bambi eye mascara from L'Oreal. This one, again, could not get it to build any length for me. It didn't do anything for my eyes. I just kept trying it and it didn't work very well. It was waterproof. I didn't feel like it was horrible to take off, but I didn't like the way that it looked on my eyes. I felt like it just made things clump together and look not very good. From Lancome, this is the Hypnos Drama one. Now, I know that a lot of people love this one. Let me tell you what I found the worst about this is the wand. It wasn't the shape. The shape is kind of a funky, like, wave little shape. It wasn't the shape. It was that there's so much on those bristles that I had to wipe and wipe and wipe and wipe. And it still got clumpy on my eyes. So I was very disappointed in that one because really this does not come cheap. It's an expensive one. The super size, I'm sorry, the Sephora size up volume extra large mascara. Okay, this one came out this year too as well, I believe. And this was kind of the same concept as the Lancome. When these br uh, brushes don't pull out and they pull off enough of the product, you're gonna get clumpiness unless you really work with it. To me, what's the use in buying a mascara and spending so much money on a mascara that really doesn't do what you want it to right out of the tube. That's hard for me. So this one, it did clump quite a bit and this one did smudge. The next one, I don't even know what this one is called. Yes, I do. Let's put the glasses on. We might be able to get this one. This one is called Best Tidy Long Curl Mascara. When I saw this one on Amazon, I thought, okay, that one's gonna be really good. And the first time I used it, I thought, okay, average mascara, not bad but it did flake and it did smudge and I just could not handle that. Cool packaging though. I thought the packaging was really awesome. So sucked me right in. The next one is from Kiko Milano. This one is called the Active Volumize Plus Active Mascara. Um, both of these, I have two from Kiko Milano. This has like a Christmas tree wand on it. Very strange actually. And again, it didn't take off uh, enough of the product to be able to go on without being goopy without wiping it. Can you tell that's one of my pet peeves? So that was a, a drawback to it, but this flaked. Most of these that are in this category flaked pretty darn bad. I have another one from Kiko that did the same exact thing. This one is called, what is this one called? I thought that this one was a mascara. This is not. This is the 30 Days Extension Night Treatment Booster from Kiko. Okay, I tried this one for 30 days. It did absolutely nothing except for really give me a bad rash around my eyes. So that one was a no for sure. From L'Oreal, this one, what is this one? I don't even know what this one is. It's gonna have to go up on the screen. But this one, again, this is that brush that will not 
get the goop off of there before you start working with it. And so when I have to do that, then by the time I get into my eyes, there's hardly any on the brush. And the other thing is that it's stuck in places. So it is gooping up in places and this one smudged, didn't like it. The e.l.f. Bo uh, Bold Mood, Big Mood Mascara. Everybody loved this this year. That wand is way too stinking big for me. I could not get this to work for me at all. It was super goopy on the, on the wand. I bought three of these thinking this was my mistake and that maybe I got an old one. Maybe I got one that was defective. None of them worked. I could not get this to build into a pretty lash. Another one that I ended up not really being super fond of. So we're starting to get into like, okay, these, this is the medium category. This is the okay category, you know, not bad, not good. Okay category. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I guess this is the special packaging they had during the holidays. I liked this when I first tried it and I did like the volume that it gave, but I didn't feel like it gave any length. The other thing is that if I wore this too long in the day and you know, for a long time, a long time for me in the day is like 12, 14 hours. That's a long day for me. Um, and it would flake a little bit on that one too. So that one was kind of a no-go for me as well. This one from Merit. This is uh, a clean beauty brand. I actually really liked this when I first got it and I thought it was going to be one of my very favorites, but this flaked so quickly in the day. I'm talking six hours and it was flaking, but this is a beautiful mascara on. I think if they could just tweak their formula just a little bit, it's so pretty the way that it fans out my lashes in the way that it gave me a lot of volume and length. I really did appreciate that, but throughout the day, I can't have that flaking. It just, it doesn't look good, obviously, and your eyes end up not looking defined and all that happy stuff that you get. A lot of people said that this was their holy grail this year. This is the new Milani Anti-Gravity, highly rated anti-gravity mascara. This was okay. It has a plastic bristle brush. It's in an hourglass form. It was okay. It wouldn't build up the length that I wanted it to on me. I wore it five different times and I just didn't like the way that it didn't give me the volume and the length that I wanted. So for me, this was an average one. And like I said, I can keep using it and it's fine, but it's not one that I reach for when I want a really pretty, you know, bold lash look. And then this is the one that I loved for such a long time. And it's the Monsieur, Monsieur Big from Lancome. Now this one is the waterproof formula. I do like this one, but this one dries out so fast. And I was really disappointed about that. You can get some beautiful length and some beautiful definition from this and some really pretty um, volume. It gives a, a lot of those, ticks off a lot of those boxes is what I'm trying to say, but it again, it dried out really fast. And as soon as it started to dry out, it got all clumpy on there and it had a problem. So this lasts probably, I would say only three or four weeks before I really started to have a problem with it. So that's why it's where it's at because it does, it does beautifully on the lashes, but dried out too quickly. And I was very disappointed in that. The NYX Doll Dull Eye Mascara. This is the waterproof formula. You can still get this somewhere. I'm not sure. I liked this one very much. This one has the plastic bristle brush again, and it's a teeny tiny hourglass formula, or, you know, shape, excuse me, wouldn't come out of my mouth. And I did like this one a lot. I worked with it quite a bit. It gave me a lot of volume. It didn't quite give me as much I'm sorry, it gave me a lot of length. It didn't get quite give me as much volume as I wanted. So that was one of the drawbacks of it. I like them to do both, not all mascaras do both. And just so you know, I lots of times end up using two mascaras, one to do volume and then to lengthen afterward. And then from JCAT Beauty, this is also a waterproof one. And again, this falls into almost the exact same category as the NYX one. This one is a natural bristle brush where it, it just acts like a hairbrush type thing. It is just in your normal like Christmas tree wand. This is a great waterproof formula. The reason that I didn't love this is it was hard to take off and I felt like I was losing lashes when I was taking it off. So that is, it. it's pretty on. It does exactly what it's supposed to, 
build up beautiful lashes, but I had a hard time taking it off even with any oil. And I have some industrial oils and some industrial balms that I take stuff off with. So this one was really tough to get off. The next one is hard to read and it is from Item Beauty Lash Snack Lengthening Mascara. Okay, this is beautiful on lengthening, but again, it doesn't give the volume that I want to, but look at the tiny little wand on there. I love that tiny little wand. It was really good for catching these little hair down here or these little lashes down here. It was great for lengthening and tipping my mascara. I really did like that. One of the things is that if you wear this like a really long day, again, you're gonna get a tiny bit of flaking, but this is we're getting higher up into my ranking here. So this is one that if you wanted to try it, I would still give you a thumbs up on it to give it a try. The next one that I have is another one of everybody's holy grail. This is the Thrive Cosmetics one. I don't know why, girls. I don't know why. I don't like this, but it's not my favorite. It's down there because for some reason I can't get what I want to get, which is beautiful volume, beautiful length out of this. It does the tubing like everybody says. It does everything that everybody talks about, but I can't get my lashes to look their very best with this mascara. It They look average. And so again, this one ranks lower because it's, it's average. It's not that high. Now I have two that are actually, we're getting up into that higher category on the lower part of the higher category. Let's call it that. This one is from CoverGirl and it is the Clump Crusher. And I believe this is water resistant, not waterproof. Okay. Clump Crusher has been around forever. Everybody has known about it. I think Emily Noel kind of made it famous because she talked about it nonstop one year. And there is your wand, a little bit of curve in it. I do like it. I love the way that it separates. I love the way that it lengthens. It doesn't give a ton of volume, but you get a little bit of volume in there. So it's still really pretty. And the beautiful thing about this is there was no flaking and it was water resistant. I didn't have tears or anything or go in a pool or anything, but I definitely had some sweating through the summer and it didn't really smudge or anything. So it's up there on the list a little bit as well. And then this is a relatively new one. Hit the market, what, a month ago? This is the L'Oreal Vol Voluminous Noir Balm. This is pretty. I have been wearing this quite a bit, but here's the thing. There is no suction on that to get any of the extra off of there. So wipe and wipe and wipe again. Now why it did get ranked higher is because it does a beautiful job. I love this brush. I am a plastic bristle brush person. Actually, let me qualify that. First, when I do my, after I curl my lashes and I'm putting on my mascara, I want a natural bristle brush. And then when I'm getting wanting length, I want a plastic bristle brush. So that's what this one is. This one is great for length. It did a really good job of separating and that's what those plastic bristles do. Like I said, you wanna be super high maintenance, go for two mascaras. Now the Stila, it's the huge mascara. It is waterproof. I adore what this does for giving you volume. This is a beautiful volume mascara. Now, why this one wasn't super high in the ranking is because again, the waterproof formulas, they seem to dry out a little bit, but if you get the regular formula like I did last year, the regular formula didn't last. So this one lasts, it's easy to take off. That's another great thing. But as soon as it started to dry off or dry out, it got the clumpies onto the bristles again and so so it was really hard to work with. I do take a couple of drops of saline solution, like five, and put it down into the tubes of my mascara as they dry out. That extends their longevity when they're starting to dry out before their time. And so this one is nice loved the volume that it gave me, but it didn't give me the extreme length on it and it did dry out a little bit faster. So I did like that one, but not in my very top, top ones. All right, now I'm gonna share with you the five that are right before the four that are my very, very top ones. And the reason I'm doing that is because these are the five that I tried last year, but I repurchased them this year. They're fantastic mascaras, every single one of them. And I will be repurchasing them again. The Lash Princess, this is the new waterproof formula. I love the waterproof formula because unlike the other ones, this does not flake or come off or smudge or anything throughout the day. It is fantastic. 
basic wand nothing major to it but i can because of the way that this wand is i think this wand is like almost a hybrid between what i was talking about about the natural bristles and the plastic bristles and love the formula of this it builds it gives you beautiful volume it separates you get length on there you can go back in and put a second coat on it's not going to get all clumpy on you so this was one that i will continue to repurchase another one this was this is a holy grail this was in my um 2021 top makeup favorites this is probably the best mascara that i absolutely love from the drugstore this is the essence 24 ever bold volume mascara this is fantastic it does have that plastic bristle brush it has a teeny tiny curve to it that i hope that you can see it's very nice mascara that gives so much definition you can reach in here and get every single little hair so all of your little eyelashes are going to be coated and it is a beautiful mascara i have a whole entire tutorial on this if you're interested in seeing that one and then the falsies lash lift from maybelline this one is the waterproof formula this is another one of my very favorites this is the natural bristles this is one of my favorites for that volumizing and thank goodness that this one does pretty much it i mean i do have to wipe off a little bit as this dries out a little bit but it does pull enough of the product off for it to be a very clean swipe across your lashes it's very very pretty i do like this one very much i use this one a lot in conjunction with the bold volume elf this one is the lash it loud this one came out about the same time that the lancome tint i doll did and i felt like it was a dupe for it i felt like it was better than this is the plastic bristle brush this lengthens volumizes pulls every lash out gives that curl holds that curl so good and i didn't talk about curl very much did i i usually don't have much of a problem with curl i apologize um if if they were are in my top ones they definitely helped keep your curl and this one is one of those that does i love this one it will probably for years and years be in my top one lasts all day no smudging no flaking oh here's the lancome tint i doll that i was just trying to talk about this one is got that bendy wand that um, a lot of people kind of fell in love with this year it has that um plastic bristle brush but this one does have a curve to it this one i just felt like again it did great lengthening you could put several coats of this on without it having any sort of clumping or looking goopy or sticking together so you had five lashes instead of your pretty spray of lashes across your eyes and so i felt like both of these were really good okay top four these are the ones that i found this year fell in love with and i can absolutely 100 percent recommend these they're beautiful first of all is this teeny tiny tube of the charlotte tilbury pillow talk mascara i have like four of these that have come in samples already so i'm not going to run out of this anytime soon but i like this brush this brush is unique it has a little bit of really catching bristles on one side and then it's a little flat on another side so you're really getting to coat those lashes and then that bristle is is catching each little one and then it's lengthening them and pulling them out and i found that it did a great job on volume too it was really good for that so i was really surprised i love that i got this little one it's lasted me two months two months already and so i don't think you need to buy the big one if you're going to try it buy a trial size it really is worth it that the trial size isn't this one this is a tester size just so you know so i I'm really in love with this and I was really surprised at how long it lasts on my eyes. There was no smudging, how well it did on recoating and really making that huge length on your lashes. It was just so pretty. Another one that I'm absolutely in love with is the Milk Kush Mascara. This is so pretty. This will give you the fluffiest, lightest, airy, beautiful, thick lashes. It's beautiful 
for your volume and that really fluffy look to your lashes. I love the wand. I loved how it pulled out. There is like hardly anything on the wand when you come out as far as goopiness. There's nothing there. It just goes onto your eyes. It is so beautiful. I'm telling you, I have completely fallen head over heels in love with this mascara this year because it lasts. It gave that beautiful volume. Little bit lacking on the length, but I didn't care because my lashes looked fluffy and pretty and I was just really liking it. Now, this one from Believe Beauty, this is the Volume Eyes Waterproof one. This one I was so impressed with. Plastic bristle brush reminded me very much of my favorite Essence one, but in a waterproof version. So it was was a tiny bit harder to take off, but nothing like those ones that we used to not be able to take off and they had to wear off for like a week and a half, like the Maybelline one in the pink tube that was waterproof. Oh my goodness. Good mascara, but you can never get it off. This one you can get off. And I just love this mascara. You can coat over and over with this without it looking clumpy or goopy or anything. It separates, it gives that length. And I'll tell you what, I'm about to show you my number one. So the milk one and this one, and then the Kosas. If you use the Kosas or the milk with this one at the end to give you volume, you're going to be enraptured with what your eyelashes look like. The Kosas one is that same brush that has is really fluffy. It is not a natural brush. It is the natural bristle brush, excuse me. And the only thing is that there is times when it gets a little bit too much, but I started to work with it and I thought, no way, I'm not gonna wipe this one off. I just wanna see how it's gonna work. And that's what I have on today. And I am telling you, this is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It is one of those mascaras that you can go back in with later, go back down into the roots of your mess, of your lashes, and it feels fluffy still. It feels like it's gonna still build. It doesn't feel crinkly. It feels soft and airy, and I love it. I absolutely love it. It's what gave me this huge amount of volume today. And then I took the Believe Beauty one, which is the plastic bristle brush, and I just tipped these to give them some length. And wow, these lashes were so pretty today. I have been loving this duo, actually, loving Kosas so much. I will usually just reach for Kosas or Milk Makeup right now because I'm just in love with them. They're absolutely gorgeous, really liking them. But this one that is like $4 from Believe Beauty is a standout. It's gorgeous as well. All right, that's it. 29 of them wrapped up for you guys in a nice little package of what's good and what's not. I hope that you did enjoy seeing this video today. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up on your way out of here. But I would love to hear in this particular video what your holy grail is so I can try 30 more mascaras this year and do this video for you again in 2023. That's kind of scary to say. But anyway, I hope that you're all doing really well. Thank you for all of your kind support. I love you so very much and we'll meet right back here next time in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.